What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brew. I'm kind of coming to you with a tarot reading. A tarot reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. So if you all are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to my new subscribers for subscribing. Thank you for my old subscribers or to my old subscribers for coming back and fucking with your girl. And look, y'all, our channel is going up. So I need y'all to uh, hit that bell over there in the... Uh, right hand corner down there if that that's where it is on your screen i need y'all to hit that bell so you can get them notifications when i'm uploading because look like i'm gonna be uploading every day because y'all are showing me so much love by subscribing so i'm gonna get busy for y'all okay this one is for aquarius sun moon rising and if you are not aquarius sun moon rising so that the message is clear let's go ahead and get our rock crystal I'm going to say crystal, y'all. I almost had an Elmer Fudd moment. Now let's get our rock crystal up there. Let's get our, our clear quartz up here so we can get our get our energy out here. And let's put Aquarius's motherfucking stone there for them, that amethysts. Because, baby, look here. Aquarius, god damn it. Can't trust you as far as you can be thrown or seen, can you? Mm, mm, mm. Subscribe to my channel. Like my channel. Do all of that, y'all, because I need y'all. I welcome y'all, and I am glad to have y'all here, and I'm glad that y'all are fucking with what I'm talking about in these tarot cards. Just as I did in the other reading. Pay attention. Pay no attention to my nails. I'm sorry. I wanted to show off my Alekes. By the time this post, no doubt it'll probably be Thursday. If I post it later on today, it's Wednesday, and it was meant for Thursday, but I just decided to post it because I fuck with y'all. But depending on what version of the Kataki you, you follow, this is Yamoya, and this is Obatala. They own Thursday. If that is not what you study, then tell me what your um, Kataki says. Tell me, tell me what you've learned. What day of the week belongs to Obatala and to Yamoya? Obakala gets two days, though. He gets Sunday as well. But that's just what I was taught. But anyway, let's go on off into our reading. We are two minutes in, and I don't want to make this reading long. I don't want to make none of the Zodiac sign readings long. So anyway, like I said, Aquarius, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. You know you done fucked up, right? Anyway, Aquarius, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened i don't understand why this happened but you made a fucked up judgment call a real fucked up judgment call regarding your relationship what was that fucked up judgment call you decided to be sneaky and, and, and manipulative and and do things that that would destroy the relationship i don't know if that was your aim aquarius to destroy your own fucking relationship but you did it you destroyed your own shit, and that's where we are right now with it. See, what had happened was, Aquarius, you might have been out here fucking around, fucking around on your person with a Pisces, Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Your person might be a uh, water sign. Uh, you, you might be fucking around with a water sign, shit. Pisces is a water sign. So you messing around on your water sign for another water sign out here. And you were thinking completely with your ego. Your ego made you feel like, yo, I need something new. And there's nothing wrong with getting bored in relationships. But for the love of God, if you are in a long-term situation, don't be sneaky. Don't be like Aquarius. Don't leave with your lower self. Don't allow your ego to become present. Because that's what Aquarius did. Aquarius saw an opportunity in something that really had no fucking future in. But Aquarius didn't know that out the gate, you know. And this is not a hit at all air signs, but directly at Aquarius. Y'all know every fucking thing. Y'all think that everything should go your way. And that's just exactly as it is. And that's probably how you were operate, operating in your relationship. But your partner was dealing with it. Your husband, your wife, your spouse, your whomever this person was. They were dealing with you. They knew how to deal with you, but you needed something new. And you decided to empty your cups. What cups did you empty? You emptied your relationship cup. You decided that you were through with this relationship. There was no more opportunity here in this relationship. You were just fucking over it. Or at least that's the way you made it seem. Because your ass didn't leave. No, no, no. You started cheating. You started doing shit behind your person's back. And the result of that is the karma that you receive. And not only is it the karma that some of y'all will receive, because a lot of y'all ain't broke up with your partner. Let me 
get this together a little bit, y'all. A lot of y'all ain't broke up with your partner yet. A lot of y'all are still with your person, but you there raising hell. But I'm telling you now, there is a fuck up. There, there, there's some karma coming. And that same manipulation that you tried to put out there with your partner is coming for you. And I know that seems like, oh, well, you're just trying to say, oh, woo, 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 whatever happens goes, whatever goes up goes down, whatever goes around comes around. Indeed, it does. However, in this situation, Aquarius, is it's a little bit different for you because you poured energy into a situation with a new person and that person turned out to be exactly what did turn out to be what you thought you were running from in your other relationship. They turn out to be a little bit worse than the person that you left, didn't they? See, that manipulation worked both ways. And because of said manipulation you put up in your relationship and heartache or whatever, this is this person is your karma. You end up with or you're going to end up with or you're dealing with right now because the person that we're reading about right now in this situation is still with the person, their karmic person, their person that is old sneaky ass, conniving ass person like this person might have presented a face to you and made you believe that this is who they were and they absolutely weren't or they made you feel like they were of some sort of value and this person ain't about shit they ain't got no morals they ain't got no more they don't have no moral compass they ain't got no heart they this is just a fucked up person that you decided to pour energy into this is the person that you cheated on your partner or your spouse or your whomever the person that you're in a relationship with. This is who you decide to fuck your shit up with. And now, you and your feelings. Because the motherfucker that you cheated on your person with is a little bit just like you, ain't they? Or a whole lot just like you. person don't care about nothing but what the fuck serves them or what the fuck fills their cup. They ain't necessarily concerned with you. And not only that, you got your old disloyal ass bitch, don't you? you got your old disloyal ass man. You got somebody that's really, really out here for the streets and you're spending a lot of time arguing with that person like, damn, I left my situation over there for, for to explore something better and I am a little bit worse for the wear. I fucked up. I'm out here fucked up emotionally on the outside looking in thinking like, dang, what if I hadn't? What if I hadn't poured energy into a situation that had no opportunity? Or you're like, dang, don't this person know that I care about them? Why are they not reciprocating me? Well, baby, you reap what the fuck you sow. You're getting back exactly what the fuck you gave out, Aquarius. And regardless to that determination that you have to get away from that person or to smooth things over with your ex or to try to go back to your ex, because this is somebody trying to cut their ass back. Baby, your ex through with you, okay? Your ex done. There may have been a moment where your ex was thinking about you, might have thought about making shit work. Your ex might have been like, all right, well, we had all this time together. We might be able to do A, B, C, D. But something you did caused them to decide, nah, I'm cool. You caused your own person to start doubting you. You caused them to do it. Maybe you got back with them and you started cheating again and you didn't cut that person off. I don't know what it was. But now it's at the point that your, your person is through with you. And they have no more interest in building with you emotionally, physically, nothing. So you caused too much heartache, Aquarius, when you did what you did, when you decided to leave your person, when you made the choice to abandon your family for this person. Your family was hurt. They're still hurt. You left your relationship for somebody that that had nothing going for themselves for real. You fucked your own shit up. And now you're in a situation like that. They ain't, get, they, ain't, they ain't thinking about me. No, it's more so your ex is like out of sight, out of mind, and they've moved on to something new. And it's almost a thing like your ex is wishing that you move the fuck on because it ain't nothing there. Quit looking back, quit looking at their page, quit calling them, hey, big head, just checking on you. Or, or that can we be friends shit that you threw up to that person they ain't, they ain't trying to hear that shit because while shit was good between y'all and things were okay and y'all had a few issues they changed and and you changed and now that person has moved on and so things have also changed in your other little situation too for the worse they changed in, in, in a drastic manner and now you're in a situation where you're like 
looking back at your ex, but you can't really leave this person alone because maybe you've developed feelings for that person. But no matter how much you think about your ex, want to go back to your ex, want to try to romanticize your ex, baby, your ex is through. Don't even think about fighting over them because no matter if the ex looks back and think about, oh, we have a family, we had a life together, they're going to remember that you left them single. And they're going to remember them kids that you left behind, left them behind with. And they're going to be like, yo, I wish you just move on. They're going to think about that boyfriend or new girlfriend that you got or that motherfucker you cheated on them with. And they're going to be like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm going to move on. And I wish that you would move on. And please believe me, Aquarius, your ex mean what they say when they say it, they threw with you. It's a wrap, Aquarius. You fucked that up with your bad judgment call. Do better, Aquarius.